Hello everyone, Carlos here again. We're on keyboard shortcut number four, which is gonna be about Control Alt V. This keyboard shortcut is for Pay Special, and it's one of them. It's one of the keyboard shortcuts that I use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I want to share it with you guys. So here, here we go. So let's just do a quick demo here. I'm just gonna locate myself in this worksheet. So let's just copy this, for example, Control C. Okay, Control C. And now I'm just gonna move with my cursors. I, I mean, sorry, with my arrow keys. And now, check it out. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so maybe you can see. For example, the key, the keystrokes that you have to press are Control ooh, D. Okay, Control Alt V. Okay, but remember the clutch analogy. You have to press these keystrokes, and you have to keep in them. Uh, you have to press them down and hold them. And then the third keystroke is gonna be V as ventures. Okay, once you do that, okay, now let's just copy this again. Okay, we can use control asterisk, control Z, and then we move right here and do control alt V. Okay, and once that happens, we're gonna get this window. Okay, I call this the pay special interface because it kind of gives you a lot of options to do your pay specials. Okay, you can paste just values, just formats. You can also do some sort of operations. We're gonna see that too. And this is kind of cool because it kind of help you to sort of uh, control the the type of pasting that you wanna do with your data. And also you also have the transpose option too that we might see again real quick, okay? So I'm gonna right now just with your arrows, okay? You can move around this interface, okay? And why is that possible? Because right here when we opened it, we can see those like uh, like dancing ants, or they're not actually dancing, but you can see these little dots. That's sort of saying that this option is like sort of pre-selected by default, but we can move it with the with our arrow keys, okay, up and down. And also, you also have this sort of dot, meaning like what kind of options uh, you want to choose from. So, say I want to just paste values, I can also now I can just press enter and I can press enter because now you see the OK button. It has a blue mark. It's like so oh, it's like saying also it's pre-selected. So I'm going to back up and press enter. And now I pasted the same data that was on the upper uh, table, but just in values. OK, and there's another option. OK, let me just back up control Z. And then control all V. And here there's another option. I could press uh, v as ventures because there's a line under under the letter that sort of indicates that if you press the v keystroke it will that that will move to that position let me just back up and do v okay check it out and now you saw that it moved to there and now i can press enter and it will do the same action so you have the arrows to move around and also you have a sort of a letter that is indicated by a line on an underline to sort of guide you to say which action do you want. If you want this, then press this letter. If you want this, or if you want the other option, press the other letter, okay? All right, guys, that was a quick, quick demo. Uh, let's just check out here the brief agenda. So pretty much, why is it useful when working with data, okay? I think uh, we pretty much see a little bit and I have something to add to that. And then how to navigate and select the pasting options. I think we already saw that, but I also wanna show you something real cool about this and the pay special when data is coming from another application. So I think we pretty much saw the tutorial and you can stop watching and keep going. But I think I also, I also wanna show you a couple things here that are very interesting and very important to know as well. So the first one, why is it useful when working with data? Let's just close this window. Say for example that you have a more like a better formatted table than that. I, I did it in purpose in that, like that. So that way, you know, you can see that there's a lot of formatting and we just paste it as values. The reason that I'm saying that is because sometimes we have tables, we have work that is actually very formatted, okay? And sometimes maybe we just wanna some send a subset of that data without formats, you know, just send it as a, and then save it as CSV, you know? So sometimes that sort of action requires that you copy the data and paste it just as values. So this kind of keyboard shortcuts gives you the opportunity to use your keyboard only to do it, okay? You don't have to, for example, 
do the mouse and drag it down. Imagine if it's a lot of data, then you will be expending your time, you know, going up and then maybe you, you missed it. So that's not good, right? So for example, once you copy this with the mouse, okay, I'm using the mouse right now. You can you do, you copy it, do this, and then you go right here and then right click and then do this option V which is there's nothing wrong with that at all okay i'm not against this but then again if uh, for some reason you wanted to also include the formats okay you pasted the values then you have to paste it again okay and then right click and say now that you want the formats now that could be prob prob pro a little bit unproductive because you you're repeating an action twice when you have the option of paste special to do both of them at the same time, okay? So that's why sort of the keyboard short, this keyboard shortcut is in that sense helpful because you kind of have control of your pasting options, okay? Okay, so how do I navigate? So we go back to the agenda and how do we navigate and select the pasting options? I think we, I think we saw that and let's just do it again, control asterisk and do control Z and then go down here once you do control alt v okay the wind the uh, pay special interface is gonna appear but let me share this quick tip if you want to move it okay some people do this with the mouse okay which is nothing wrong with it too but if say it was right here and you want to for some reason you want to put it right here okay say i'm gonna leave it there what i can do is actually i can press alt and then spacebar and then there's gonna be this window ju that just popped out it's in Spanish because my window is in Spanish, but if you see it, if you do it on your computer and you have an English, uh, or if your window is in English, you will see that this is going to be restore, move, size, minimize, maximize. So this small window now can tell me that maybe I can press M to move it. And let's just press it, M. And now you can see that I can move this window with my keyboard shortcut. Kind of, I think it's a subtle, you know, subtle trick, but you know, you can still work with a computer with not using your mouse. I'm, I, you know, I'm not advocating to ditch the mouse, but I'm just saying, you know, you still have that option. Okay. And all right. So now once you have a place, for example, right here, then you do enter and then that's it. Then you can move around the buttons. Okay. So let's go back to, to moving around this, this interface. Okay. So for example, you can move your arrows. Okay. Up and down. Okay. Up and down. But you can also use the tab, okay? The tab, the tab keystroke, and look at the it, see it jumps into the other section, okay? Because the first section is actually this one. The first section is this one, okay? And there's this line that you can see right here, All right? And then the second act, the second section is this one, and then the third, sort of the third and fourth are this skip line and transpose. So that's why with tab you sort of jump into these four sections, and you see. You see the, like these dots moving around. It kind of helps you to say where are you moving into, okay? Cool. So that's how you move around the interface, okay? And then again, you have the letters right here, okay? That indicates which kind of actions. If you press the keystroke, that this dot is gonna move to that action. So right now I'm in formula, okay? That's where I left it. But for example, if I press Z, then it will go from formula to comments because I, I press the C keystroke, okay? All right, guys. So now let's just practice a little bit and do more uh, more examples here. Now with Control, um, just escape, okay. And now let's do Control Alt V, for example. And for example, if I want to do values, then I do V as Vendetta. You saw that the dot move and then enter because pretty much it's already pre-selected on the OK button. It has the blue mark. All right. Control C to back up. Control Alt V again. Maybe I just want to paste out the formatting, or meaning the the cell, the the colors of the the cells, and that you know that whole thing, but without the data. Maybe I don't know that that could also happen too. So what you do is you you press the T option, Y T, because it tells you right here very small. Okay, there's an underline on the T. So we do T, okay, and then enter, and see we just copy it this uh, the whole table but without data okay that can also be the case now control alt v we can also paste the formulas okay 
there's formulas above this, okay? So maybe we just want to paste values and formulas, then formulas, we can press F, it's going to be your option, F, enter. And then again, if you check out here the formulas, there you go, see? There's formula in place, okay? So that's kind of cool because sometimes you just want to paste another uh, table to another place, including the formulas, but not the formatting. Then paste special is your friend. Control C and then Control O V. And then uh, the other one that you can also do too, for example, is that you can actually just choose, uh, for example, I'm just moving around with my keyboard. You can say, I want everything, but without borders. Then you do have that option that says all without borders, okay, right there. And just press enter. And now you can see that there's a subtle difference here. You know, you can see that with this, this, this table has this box right here, and this one doesn't have it. And now it doesn't have the line between so maybe we can take out the grid lines real quick and you can see more of this difference okay so that's kind of cool that's kind of cool because uh you you have those options of pay specials that are very useful now the other cool thing about pay special is that you can also do operations okay so for example i have in this column reduce a 10 percent and i actually made a mistake i actually have to put uh 0.90 okay but it's because I actually want to reduce, of these numbers, I actually want to reduce a 10%. So the multiplication is to multiply by times 0 0.9. So that way you will take out 10% of them. And if you wanted to increase, then you will add, uh, include 1.2 because 1 is the base and 0.2 is actually the increment. Okay, so now let's do it. Look, look, look what's going to happen here. This is interesting, okay? We just copy this and paste it or control all V and say we actually want to M as multiply okay it says right here on the M right here the M letter is, is underlined so we back up we do M and then okay and something is not gonna calculate right okay why because if we look at the formula here see the problem is is that for example the reference of the average if this one the criteria is not locked okay so we need to lock it in order to work. So we need to put a dollar sign uh, below, I mean, before the the letter, okay, Sim the letter, which is the reference of column, okay? And then the other thing, cool thing, is that you can see already in the formula, the 1.1 was added to my formula. That wasn't that wasn't present before, now it's added. So that's kind of cool with space special that you can sort of add stuff to your formulas, okay? Control Z, Control Z, okay, cool. All right, and let's do fix this formula right here. And let's just say, for example, we want to put uh, the dollar sign there, okay? Before the letter that is referencing the column. So that way I tell them, hey, you can't move right and left. Right, enter and drag this down. All right, perfect. Okay, let's just back up here. And now let's do the multiplication again, okay? But now let's just fix this to 0.90, okay? And bring this down, Control D to fill down, okay? There's all gonna be a keyboard, short, uh, uh, keyboard shortcut about Control D and Control R, okay? Very useful stuff, and I also have other stuff that I wanna share with that. So select everything here, Control Z. Now we go here and Control Alt V. And now we're gonna actually press the M key, a M keystroke, okay? We do that and then enter. And now you can see that the numbers have been reduced, okay? Including the formatting, including the formatting. Now for the this one that is coming, okay, let's do for example, we we copy, we mod, we copy this, and now we're gonna increase the 20% to the number. So control alt V, okay? And now we are gonna go to multiply. And I think if we press V, see, this is a cool thing. You can also select two options within the filter interface, okay? Before, before first I say, I'm going to multiply these numbers and I want you to paste them, inc incrementing at 20%. But I also, with the options on the section above, I actually want you to just paste as values and not include formatting, okay? So once we do that, check this out. First of all, that is only the, 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 the result that we're pasting, okay? And then the previous one, we just did multiply, and it does include the formula, 
because we didn't say above we we tell them copy everything okay formatting and formula 2 so that's way we can steal the formula but we can also see the 0 0.9 included so that's kind of interesting too because you have that flexibility at hand and now lastly let's say that maybe we want to put this 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 category transpose it so we want to see instead of vertically we want to see it horizontally so control c okay and we can also do paste it as values and without formatting so control all v and we say okay first of all i want you to be values now i'm gonna move around with my key my key um, arrow keys and then i'm gonna press tab and then tap again and then tap again and then with the space bar i select the transpose but my first option selected was that i want values and then and then i move with tab to this section of and then with the space bar selected transpose and now i hit enter and now i have the data transpose okay so that's very cool too because you have the data to sort of um, um sort of like pivot it i guess or moving it from horizontal to vertically or vice, uh, vice versa sorry so the last point for this tutorial is pretty much uh the following let's we just go to the uh, agenda so in case you copy data from another application that is not Excel, then this interface of Space Special is gonna have sort of like a version two, okay, or another version, because it's another application or the data is also coming from a website. So for example, if I were to, for example, click this text box and say Control C, and I was to go to Excel and go right here, for example, and do control all v look at the interface that's gonna appear it's, it's another one it's different and look at the options i can only paste as image okay yeah there's some sort of differences there between jpeg and png and all that but it's as, as an image no data is involved here so the way to get the data of that text box let's just close this and go to the powerpoint is to actually highlight the data that is inside the text box and then control c and then here control alt v okay and now i do have those options the last one so that is the unicode text and the text the text is the one that i want because right here it says look you're coming you're copying from your clipboard i mean the contents from of the clipboard but without any formatting that's what i want so click okay and there you go see it might take a little bit while i don't know why it should be immediate but there you go you can see the the data pasted from from powerpoint now let's say if you go to our website here for example and then this is about world prison populations say that you have the table like that and you say i want this data so now you do Control c then go to excel let's just go right here and say that you pasted it as just like that so you go and really fast and do Control v so see you pasted it but you still also carry on with the formatting of the table on the web page so maybe you don't want that you actually just want the data itself so Control c and then this is where Control alt v appears but see the page special now is similar to the other one but it doesn't include options of image it also includes options of for example the html the unicode text and the text so the text is the one that we want and actually we just click ok and we back up and see now you have data that is that is doesn't include any formatting it's data that pretty much is clean for you to add the formatting that you want and that's about it guys that's about it this is the the whole tutorial and i hope it was useful for you and you learned a couple of stuff i'll see you i'll see you in the next no oh well sorry guys i think um what I say about this is because you probably lost the image of myself, but I'll see you in the next video is because I was recording with another camera and I ran out of memory. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Thank you.